Hi, welcome to Tutorials of Adeco 17, the most complete software for cabinet furniture industry and interior design. In this video series, we would like to demonstrate how Adeco benefits to your business. In our first video, I will explain essentials of Adeco 17 and how to design a regular kitchen easily. Let's start with recognizing the designing interface. The toolbar on the left holds commands for drawing architectural elements such as walls and windows. Right toolbar commands are related to kitchen designing such as modules, countertops and tiles. The toolbar on the top right is related to commands for visualization and to the left we have buttons related to the project. If you make a mistake you can undo it by pressing on this button here. Now let's build a room from a template. Click on the room button, select the shape and change the dimensions of the walls. Then press draw to place it on the screen. You can easily place windows, click on the window button and click on the wall where you want it approximately. Here we find settings related to the window itself. You can choose one of many shapes from the list and adjust the dimensions on the left side. Then press OK to place it. Now let's see all these as the human eye sees. Here is the perspective view button. Click on it. Also click on shade button to view the project with materials. You can place windows and doors either from plan or perspective view and delete them with this button here. To navigate in the project, you will need to use mouse and keyboard key combinations. To rotate around the project, hold control key pressed and move mouse with left mouse button pressed. To zoom, use control shift left mouse button. To pan the view, use control shift and right mouse button. Now that we are done with architectural elements, let's see how Adeco 17 designs a kitchen automatically onto it. But before that, let's locate chimney and drain on the wall since automatic kitchen command takes these into account. Press insert, symbol, select chimney, place it on the wall and adjust the dimensions. You may also select Comer Outgoing Combo to indicate sink and dishwasher placements. Please note, when placed under the window, dimensions are referenced from window position. Now, click on Automatic Kitchen button, modify the rules and press OK. ADECO 17 will now do its best to generate solutions based on these rules and keep displaying them until you are ok with one of them. Let's say yes to this design and make our modifications on it. Here is the cabinet door model button. Click on it and search for a model under rich categories of ADECO 17. Select one of the insertion options to determine whether you want to change all doors or only some of them. You can double click on the model to apply it. Similarly, you can also change handles as well. Next, we are going to change colors and materials. Click on material manager button here. You may find a suitable material under these categories Double click on the material thumbnail and click on the object you would like to change. You can click right mouse button or press escape to get back to the material manager screen. You may notice as I click the cabinet door it changes all the cabinet doors in the project. To change a material separately select Apply to object option, double click on the material and click on each object you would like to change.
with this tool you may change materials of any entity on the screen walls floors tiles handles cabinet bodies and doors customize as much as you need we are pretty much done with designing this kitchen finally let's make some attraction click on any module then right click on it and select open closed door as you can see it takes a couple minutes to design a kitchen like this one our next video will provide detailed information about how to design a kitchen from scratch and present it Click on part 2 caption here for the next video. Thanks for watching.